Now we're going to measure the resistance of the ground rod. We'll take off the ground rod from the acorn. And I have a little patch jumper set of wires that I'll hook this to the ground rod. So we isolate the ground rod and the other to the frame of the dock. Turn our fluke meter on. Ohms. As soon as it calibrates, we're going to measure the ground rod resistance. And see, we have a ground rod resistance around 30, 34 ohms. A little bit higher than 25 ohms that NEC. No, again, suggest. No, 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 no. Again, that's how you measure our no, 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 no. ground rods. Now we're done. We're going to measure the current flowing on the ground wire. We're going to change our settings to milliamps. Clamp it on. Let's see, we're running 58 milliamps on the ground wire. Anything under 100 is acceptable. 